it's your girl Mia V and I am back here with another video. Today's video we're going to be asked, answering some questions that people have had for female brains. So let's just get right into it. All right, the first question is why did you join the Marine Corps? Well actually you probably could. Say who you are. Oh I'm Kaylin. I'm Tamia. I'm Reagan. I'm Marissa. So first question is why did you join the Marine Corps? Um it was all an accident, honestly. <laughs> I was trying to go to the Navy, and they was playing with me, trying to get me out. So I took my scores to the Marine Corps. I was like, when can I leave? They was like, you want to leave next month? Then I leave next month, but that's why. Lord, no, I'm similar to her. I always wanted to join the Marine Corps, but I thought I was too small. So I went to the Navy. The recruiter gets me off, and then I was like, I'm just going to go to my first mind. And I went to the Marine Corps recruiter. Uh, shoot, man. Uh, the school me and Marissa actually went to was like a Air Force base school. So I got tired of the Air Force. <laughs> Didn't like their uniforms or nothing like that. I wasn't going to go to the Army because <laughs> why? <laughs> Navy, I can't swim, but like my dad was a Marine, so I might as well follow in those footsteps, right? So. Hey, you just can't answer questions. Way, but your own way. Uh, I, I married a Marine. <laughs> we in a divorce though. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "Don't." <laughs> so you know, she's single. What's that up? part? Oh, oh Lord. the next question is, how are promotions? Oh, how are promotions? That's all you as one. Yeah. Hey. I say for the promotion since the new Miami came out, you won't pick up sergeant until you hit your four year mark. So if you want to get promoted fast, get pr promoted meritoriously, have a high PFT score, high CFT score, make sure you're good at your job, have high right. pro and cons, and make sure you know how to keep the Marines around you, and don't do nothing you don't supposed to do. Don't do it just for the money. Like make sure you know the Marines around you. Like. And you're proficient in your job. That part. Know your job and all that. Because if not, what's the point besides, okay, yeah, you got your check, but like, like these lances can do better than you. So on and so forth. Right, or PFD if they you know, can't be with Lance. The next one is, how's the pay? She just said the pay, so Ooh. let's get in that. Alright, so when you get out of boot camp, you're going to be roughly making six, seven hundred dollars a paycheck in. And then each year, every time you get a year in service, it goes up hundred dollars. And then every time you get a different rank, it goes up depending on your time of service. It can go. So that's pretty much how the pay starts. That's how you start off. But that's as a single marine, as a married marine, you'll get paid a lot more. But it also based off where when you, you are. stay. Yeah. Yeah. So if you come to Pendleton, you most likely gonna get paid twenty four hundred a check. Between twenty one and twenty four hundred a check. Depending if you're a PFC to a sergeant. It's how really much are you going to pay? Okay, so my ex, he's a corporal and we, he gets like $2,400. And we okay. have a kid, too. And that's like at MCRD, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's like San Diego. Diego, which is... Yeah, so I think all of Southern California is the same. I don't know why it is on the East Coast. And then if you like up north, probably get 26 because it's higher than um, San Francisco or something. So mm -hmm. that's how the pay works. So next question is, what's to get ready? What to do to get ready for boot camp? I say you need to be running. You need to be getting prepared mentally, emotionally, and you need to be focusing on them abs. Cause woo, and be prepared to run. Ooh. And if you're going in the summertime, make sure you're hydrated. Cause I'm headaches, and if you're passing out, you don't want to sip a bullet. Cause I got it by accident. They mixed me up with another marine. Oh, she was brown too. We were both browns. <laughs> she I went down in the heat case, and they so took. Yeah, but <laughs> I was in the hospital with the other brown, and they didn't even know I was good. Oh, so they thought I was good. Hey, just do better than me, <laughs> man. I went down there only knowing, like, Semper Fi, the Marine Corps birthday, and then, mm -hmm. like, drilling and marching stuff. But, like, other than that, I was just like, what do you, what is a parade rest and, like, no. all this other stuff about the dress blue uniform and stuff? That's the part of me. I went down there all in knowing master guns, the ring. And instead of being a bursting bomb, it was a pineapple. 
That's how right. I knew it. Yeah, that's I how I was taught in boot camp. I was I know. That's yeah. all I knew. That was like, oh, get online. I was like, who are you talking to? Like, why are you yelling at me? Can you? Like, I had a hard time. Like, I did. Well, boot camp was nothing for me personally because my mama yelled like that every day. I mean, and my drill, my senior drill instructors, all of them were black females, and I looked at them like they were my mother because they favored her in some type of way. So for that part, that part was fine for me. I ain't miss nobody. Oh, I, I was miss, belligerent. I did it all for my dog. I was belligerent. Oh, my I miss Shaq so much. Like, Lord. Yeah, but I can say get mentally prepared. Mentally yeah. prepared, physically prepared. Um, it's just a game. If you think you know it all, you don't. Try to learn as much as you can beforehand about the general stuff, like general orders, spray rinse, attention. Get a rough draft on a rank. So once you do go to boot camp, when you're in the classes, some stuff will be like you come back in your memory. So when you start taking the test, <laughs> how is it working with male Marines? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so I would say for me, working with memories, it's not bad. It's just they think just because you're a female, you know, you think you're going to get it your way because it's not that many females in the Marine Corps. They try to overpower you because they're louder. They can yell out or whatever. You know, it's it's like being a female in the military, you always have to prove yourself. Regardless if your rank, anything, you gotta have to prove yourself because you're just a woman in the man's world. Pretty much that's how I see it. Right. And if you're not comfortable being around males, don't go to Marine Corps. Because it's yeah, really always crazy. gonna be either the only girl or it's gonna be 200 men and 16 girls. The fewer and the prouder. Right. So that's my thing. Don't don't feel intimidated. Don't be like, um, well, I'm a girl. I can't do this. Don't use that because that's what they say already. At least try. And if you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it. But don't let nobody bully you or make you feel some type of way. Just stand your ground. Stand your ground. I was gonna say yeah. Just stand your ground and all that. Like. For me, I, I've i been around guys a lot, so it's just like, oh, like they're all my brothers and everything. Like, I'm trying to be to know them and everything, but then they see that as like flirting and stuff. And there's a lot of male Marines who don't see it like that. They just want to be your friend, but then some of them think, oh, yeah, I'm going to try to game her, bro. Like, let's do that. Like, no. <laughs> like, you're supposed to be brothers and sisters in arms. That's pretty much incest. So. <laughs> No, I'm good. No. Try not to date in your unit, and if you Whoop. if you can't, if you, I just say don't date on base. Period. <laughs> I'm gonna date somebody. They're gonna be on Memorial June, yeah. whatever, Camp Geiger, whatever the word. They ain't gonna be on Camp Pendleton. Cause yeah, don't be a walking marathon. Even if you're not a walking marathon, don't even yeah, don't even make it seem like you're one of those. Cause yeah, that's 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 if he know your name, name is this, you don't know your name, and he's talking to old dude from the other unit, then y'all gonna be that. If he know your name is this unit, and he's talking to old dude from the other unit, then your name is that unit. So now your name on the whole flight line, and you want to know one person. So small. Yeah, it's small. You know everybody without even knowing. But so if you sleeping with everybody, everybody just sleep with you, and everybody knows. Yeah, if y'all so, don't know what a mattress marine is, it means pretty much you just lay on your back. <laughs> I'm a small. And this one is tattoo policy. Oh, I'm gonna post a picture of like where it's at somewhere on the screen, probably, but it didn't change. Yeah, it's you gotta be able to cover it up with your hand, it can't be two inches from your wrist, two inches from your elbow, above or below. Um, it needs to be where you can't see it on your back, like where well, you can get one on your back, but you can't see it in your uniform, like you would bring your head down. So you wear a t shirt and it covers it up, boom, you're good. Yeah, and the same thing with your legs. Um, two inches below and above the knee, and mm -hmm. two inches above the ankle. I think I hit it all. Grooming standards. Your hair color needs to be natural. Woo! And then, if you're a male, three inches from your scalp type thing, cut it. With the fade. female, like, at least the color, I have a lot of color. Um, that one pretty much goes with, like, has to compliment your skin tone, like verbatim, compliment your skin tone, and be a natural hair color. Right. So she so, can't have purple hair. Yeah. I can't dye my hair blonde or do something. Well, I think you can be, but it gotta be your whole head. Yeah. You can't just, you can't do the ombre effect type of thing. Nothing faddish. And to like do a fad is like to make it trendy or anything like that. So no ombre, balayage, um, streets, montage. Yeah, I think Montage, I didn't even 
your nails, they need to be short. Good, yeah, short and clean, and then you like maintenance, you know what I'm saying? You need like, like a quarter nails. inch. Yeah. French tips. Yeah, French tips. I don't think we can do the new colors anymore, but I think they still do them. Yeah. I personally get my nails clear, so. Cause you pay more for French tip, but it's less coverage. Like, it don't make sense. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> and now we get the physical fitness. Just make sure you're in shape. Keep up with the men. Or be better than them. That or work. both. I personally have two hip injuries, low back injury, a shin injury. So. That's a no. <laughs> but. You're going to be busted. Yeah. You're going to be busted from the rooty to the tooty yeah. with injuries. I tell you that. But you got to keep your none. You're joined with none. Come back with self. Hey, those Please. females that come from the East Coast and then come to the West Coast and do MCT, yo, props to y'all. Because that's, that's crazy. Like, y'all go from hiking on low-level, flat terrain to then going on hills and stuff. Props to y'all. Look, once you get fit, don't get back out because then you're going to mess yourself over. Ooh. And, like, once... Like if you work, you have you no know, become with a child. Try to work out during it. You don't gotta go to the extent, but try to work out at least a little bit so it won't be so hard for you to get back into standards. Because some people have a hard time getting back into standards. A whole new body. Yeah. So if I think some people gain two pounds, some people gain two hundred pounds. You know what I'm saying? You just need to watch what you do. Yeah. And it's going to be the hard part because the Marine Corps is going to make you feel like you're overweight and you got to stand up and make you feel like you're fat. You look in the mirror and you look perfectly fine. So don't let the Marine Corps standard of beauty or in shape become your reality. Because that's how people go into a depression and get anxiety because they let people make them feel some type of way about themselves. Mm -hmm. um, how to stay motivated. Bruh. Surround yourself with people that keep you motivated. Yet. Don't worry about the negative people. Don't worry about the naysayers. And if your chain of command suck, they ain't gonna always be there. So, and if they are, because you just got there and they just got there and y'all got the same tour, then you know what? Do what you gotta do. Keep it short and simple. Yeah, they go by a lot faster. Just get the job done. You gotta think of it like your cousin. Like, everybody talks about like that one cousin, but as soon as like, Somebody outside the family is like, oh, well, so-and-so is, like, stupid or this, this, and that. And you're just like, hey, hold up. Don't talk about him that way. That's that's how the ring for it is. Yeah. So, it's a love-hate relationship. A lot of love, though. A whole lot of love. It is. Yeah. And you can't pick and choose. To a certain point, which is where the hate comes from. Okay, I would say for me, my thing is surrounding myself by like-minded individuals like myself. It's these people right here. I would say, but around, since I'm black, black female Marines, my, like myself, since we all have our different struggles, but it's similar in different ways. AKA hair. Woo! Because we all go through the same <laughs> struggle. So, I mean, I feel like if I have a problem, I can be like, hey, Mia, like, am I messed up? You know what I'm saying? Like, and she can point me in a better direction than not saying my other races can't, but she understands what I go through with my own head mm -hmm. to help me better understand, all right, maybe you messed up here, or no, you're not, maybe you got me, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. not everybody's going to see it through your eyes or my eyes, so it's better to come to a mutual understanding and a common ground to get your point across. Because right. everybody was raised different. Um, so college while being active duty. I did classes while active duty. You did classes while active duty. I'm doing classes. Yeah. yeah, she's still doing classes. My last course ended in October. Um, I started off taking one class, eight-week class, and I did all mine online. What was it? Uh, mine was hybrid, so I did online, and then I also did class, too. Okay. I only did online. I took eight-week courses from January to October of 2019. I started off with one class just to make sure I could handle the woodwork, and then I went up to two classes. It was a killer, but I was trying to get some credits in. But it's wet. it's doable. It all depends on your job and the Marine Corps and the hours that you work. If you're maintenance, it's kind of going to be a little harder. But if you like administration or something like that and you get out between 435, you can make it work. Then, But if you like have um, 
like a family, like we married or something, it all depends on if you got the help at home, you know what I mean? So, what I also did, I tried to get an hour in with homework each day, and then whatever I didn't have done on Saturday, Saturday morning, from my wake up, I used to wake up at like 7.30 on the weekends, and 7.30 to 9.30, just straight homework. And if I wasn't done then, I did the same thing on Sunday morning. So, yeah. I think for me, uh, just like doing classes and everything while being in, it helps a lot, and I wish I could have started earlier, but that's whatever. But for me, uh, I stay on track by time management, so when I'm at work, I know like I have a set schedule for after, like I'm doing my homework at this time, break in, I'll go to class, do some more homework for the next class that I'm doing, because I'm usually taking two at once, and then on the weekends, I'm just doing homework and hanging with these nerds. Facts. But I have my I have my support system, so I got them, I got my family, freaking awesome. Um, how is it working with officers? I feel like um, it's a bomb, but then again, we work on the flight line, so uh, it's we different. Yeah, it's, it's a it's whole different, different atmosphere yeah. for us. Nobody I feel like the air station. <laughs> right. So I feel like if we were the ground side, we probably won't even talk to officers, but we work with the colonel person. And, and and lieutenant colonel, we work with all of the colonels, all of the lieutenant colonels, all of the generals. Like, yeah, cause yes. that's our position. All them big dogs. Yeah. Much. So they're actually really cool, but then again, we are on the flight line, so we see them and sit with them and play with them and shop oh, function with them yeah. every day and weekend and shop function. So we're not scared. So yeah, you just gonna say it in a respectful manner. Yeah, like, you gonna get your point across. They're just regular people. Right. They're just regular people. All you're doing yeah. is wearing a uniform and got rank on. Just be respectful. Know who you're talking to. Know what yeah. you're saying. And how to say it. And Don't how get too say it. Yeah. 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 Stay still or off shit. Don't wear any stick. Right. Cause don't get no me, like I said, oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do no, like, right. Don't, don't be the one. one. But, like, uh, say for instance, I was with, um, one of the units, and I got to fly in the front seat of a Krova. I've been in several simulators, and I flew in a Huey 3 to 4 times. So, it's benefits yeah. to it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fun That's what they call it. If they have extra flight hours, you get to go on the aircraft with them. That was a couple of toilets. Oh what was your hardest part of boot camp? Oh! My no. human. That was my hardest part. I got dropped in rain week. I can't shoot. I couldn't shoot. I got dropped. After I hurt my, my right hip, and then um, the hardest part was watching my old platoon graduate without me. And my hips, that's pretty much it. I think mine was shooting, but then I learned the bitch hip. That was standing. <laughs> hey. And I got the bitch hip. I was like, Phew. I was like, yes, I got you it. You probably hip messed up too. That, yeah, <laughs> that was it. And then I was the belligerent one that was always dancing online. So I used to wake up every morning, titty runners on my foot locker. Yo. And I used to get slayed and I was laughing all the time. I got in trouble for smiling and laughing. I got in trouble for breathing. Mm -hmm. I got in trouble for running by the drum instructors not saying anything, even though she told me not to say anything, which made no sense. It was redundant. I was like, you told me not to say nothing. Play, you play a lot of games in boot camp. Yeah, a but, lot. And I was, but they all there for a reason. They, they, are, are, like, you they know, teach a lesson. Yeah. It's good memories. I think for me, the hardest part about boot camp, because like I said, I did it for my dog, yo. Like, my yeah. homie, I missed them. So, like, the only thing that kept going through my mind, like, I had a hard time with swim qual. I can't swim. I go with the stereotype. I'm sorry. Pretty <laughs> ironed good. up. Woo! Ironed up, yo. Like, they yeah. tried to teach us how to swim, like, the day before. And it was just like, I'm not catching it, yo. Like, the whole week. <laughs>